pause for this moment to recognize our dependence on you and ask for your guidance during our meeting tonight. Keep us focused on the people that we represent, the business that they have asked us to do, and to honor you in that service. We ask for your hand of protection to be with our emergency workers and law enforcement and those serving abroad in our armed forces. Keep them safe and bring them back to us soon. As we enter into this holiday season, keep us mindful of the reason we celebrate. While we enjoy time with family and friends, remind us that it is a perfect opportunity to share your love with others. In your name we pray. Amen. This time, uh, I'd like to open up the floor for um, selection of uh, commission vice chair. Are there any nominations from, from the commission? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to nominate Mr. Holbrook as vice chair. And I will second. I have a, a motion to elect um, Commissioner Holbrook as vice chair in a second.
time, although it's not on the agenda, I think it's uh, definitely in order. Um, Commissioner Hawkins, um, we would like to present you with a uh, plaque and also uh, we'll probably say some good words about you here, so I want to talk about you as well. Um, and I'll present this with you, uh, to you in just a minute, um, and maybe we can get a picture with, you, with us presenting this to you. Um, but I wrote a couple things down that I didn't want to forget. Um, I want to say, Ronnie is with great pride that I served along you as a commissioner, and I'm honored to be able to present this um, uh, this plaque to you. Uh, this plaque in particular has a special meaning to me. Um, as you pass on the gavel to be his chair, I'm reminded about my other gavel. Um, as an auctioneer, my gavel um, is one of my main tools. Uh, it represents control, respect, fairness, and an agreement. It is not unlike how you have represented the citizens of Cleveland County. During your tenure as chair, you have given direction, um, a clear message, um, and have been accessible to our residents as well as to your fellow commissioners. You have represented us very well. Um, we are the better for your service and you have left a footprint here. Um, I am proud to continue serving with you and proud to continue with friends. Any other commissioners have any comments? Uh, I think the best thing I can say about Ronnie is uh, I think he truly has the best interest of the citizens of Cleveland County at heart and he makes decisions based on that. Uh, he makes decisions I mean, I feel the same way. Um, you are a friend to all of us, and we appreciate the guidance and the direction that you've led us as chair this year. It may not sound like you're going to be gone after about 10 minutes from now, but we're looking forward to continuing on uh, working with you as a team. And uh, thank you very much for the guidance that you've given me as a mentor and the hard work that you do looking out for our county. I know you'll continue to do that.
on the agenda is uh, um, uh, motion to adopt the proposed agenda. Commissioners, I would like to add, if we can, um, we have a uh, lease agreement um, that we would like to, to uh, discuss as well, and that, that is 6A uh, for cell tower lease agreement. Madam Mark Delvin is going to present that to us. Are there any other additions? Entertain a motion to close the uh, adopt the proposed agenda. Mm -hmm. Thank you. First, second. 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 All those in favor, please raise your right hand. <coughs> Citizen recognition. Uh, anyone wishing to appear before the commission um, should register their name ahead of time. Uh, did we have anyone? Yes, sir. Is there, is there anyone that came tonight that with intentions to speak before the commissioners that didn't have the opportunity to register ahead of time? Like to come up for the yeah. uh, stage name and address? Or well, may have that on the Side on the agenda is the consent agenda. With that I'll turn it over to our county manager. Yes, sir, Mr. Chair. Thank you so much. I've got several items for your consideration tonight. First item A would be your November 5th regular meeting minutes for your consideration, review, and approval tonight. Uh, in addition to the minutes, I would like to put before you this evening three budget amendments. Uh, the first of which, amendment number 27 is in the electronic maintenance department. Uh, it's for a total of $750 increase 
and this would be to record remaining value of a camera system that is being bought from a company who originally had rented equipment, and this is necessary uh, financially for us to be able to record the full value of this asset on the county books, and that would be item B and then number 27. Uh, item C is from the Sheriff's Office, uh, budget amendment number 28, and this would be uh, to ask for you to allow us to budget donations in the amount of $250 that the sheriff intends to use for the upcoming United Way campaign incentives uh, that he will provide to the department for hopefully a very successful campaign. And finally this evening from the health department, uh, item number 29, the health department is asking uh, for permission to budget $3,994. This is a federal government grant uh, that would be accepted and then would be used for necessary operating expenses in the health department uh, for the remaining budget year. Those are the items for your consideration, Mr. Chair. Uh, be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thank you, Mr. Richardson. Um, are there any questions for the committee? Hearing none, um, I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. Second. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Now on to the regular agenda, and this is a, um, uh, a bittersweet um, item on our agenda, um, but uh, we'd like to recognize um, someone that has spent a lot of time with the county. Um, our our uh, uh, elections director, um, Deborah Way, um, has announced her retirement and will be retiring at the end of the month. And we wanted to um, present her with something. And, um, and also give the commissioners an opportunity to uh, make comments. Uh, and then we would like to ask you up and, and present this to you and take some pictures and, and congratulate you. Um, uh, this, um, first off, is a, a resolution um, that if we pass the resolution line, we'll be presenting. Um, resolution for recognition of elections director Deborah Wayne. I think I need to be in front of you yes, all. Yes, ma'am. Come right up. That to me. Yeah, come right <laughs> up. Right up. I, I deserve that. You definitely do. You definitely do. Um, resolution for recognition of elections director Deborah Wayne. Whereas effective December 31st, 2013, Deborah Wayne will retire from Cleveland County. And whereas Deborah has been an employee of the Cleveland County Board of Elections since August 1986. And whereas believing in the importance of continuing education and with her ever changing election, the ever changing election laws, Deborah has worked to become a certified North Carolina elections administrator and, and has received her national certified elections registration administrator certification. And whereas Deborah is an active, <coughs> active in professional elections organizations on the state and national level and is a subject matter expert. She has served as a, as a presenter at several conferences and whereas during election season, Deborah has organized and professional, uh, has organized and professional and helps bring balance to what can be stress, a stressful environment. And whereas throughout her years, Deborah has earned the admiration, respect, and friendship of those who, uh, with whom she has worked to come into contact. Therefore, be it resolved by the Cleveland County Board of Commissioners that Deborah Wynn has commended, uh, be commended for her years of service to the county and the citizens we extend, um, and the citizens, and we extend to Deborah best wishes for her many years of good health and happiness during her retirement and her future endeavors. Commissioners, you've heard the resolution. Is there a motion that we adopt this resolution? Second. Okay. Everybody's either moved or seconded, it looks like. Um, we've got a first and a second. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Thank you. Unanimous. And the sign is <laughs> Uh, 
Um, so we'd like to invite the board up here as well, um, and anyone else that would like to come up and, and talk about Deborah and, and how how she's uh, she's impacted their lives. So, um, commissioners, if we could go. Uh, and while you're moving up here, let me introduce Joyce Coleman, who's uh, from my Commission for Women group, and Max Strickler, who represents my Rotary group. Great. We're happy to have you here tonight as well. Um, if y'all don't mind coming up, um, the Board of Elections members, we can go down there. Still have it, but it's not bothering me, so it's fine. <laughs> Let's not break it up and have it move. <laughs> well, I also wanted to comment about some of the chairs, or I'm, and I'm trying to remember all the chairs that I've served under. Um, Tony Eastman, I was hired under a Republican board. Tony Eastman was my chair. Then we moved to Rob Deaton. Several periods of time, Dean Westmoreland and Steve Wells. So at least four, five chairmen I have served under, with various and sundry board members. So it has been uh, a real treat to have you all come up and file for office and file your campaign reports and. Uh, I'll correct. And and file them again.
you know, I, I asked her, I said, I'm, I'm glad you dressed up on our account. She said, I'm just coming in off of the road from town. Yeah, she was learning about, tell them what you're Well, we learned about spraying grapes and pruning grapes. I was in Virginia, and it happened to be this afternoon, so I just made my, left Virginia time enough to get to the seminar, and we just got here in the time, so. Could I also add, you know, having worked with her for about 10 or 12 years with the election, this is a tough job, and on that particular day, she supervises a workforce of about 300 people. And I assure you, being a part of that workforce, those are nasty people, some of those election folks like myself. <laughs> and Deborah has always been equal to the occasion, not only in supervisory skills, but in nastiness. <laughs>
times, the first time for almost six years, the second time certainly just for a couple of months, and I was uh, very disappointed to know that you were going to be retiring, but also very happy for you and, and excited for what you have ahead, ahead of you. And after listening to all the elected officials' comments, it's clear that you're the same person every day, everywhere you go, and from the staff perspective, it's also clear that you are a very hard worker. Every day when you come to work, when your feet hit the floor, you are on the move, you are on the go, you're working on behalf of the citizens of this county, and I think I think that without a doubt that you set a great example as a county employee. You have. You're the same person that when I was here in the 90s, you're the same person today that you were then, except you, you've grown, and as was mentioned, you're recognized across the state in your profession. And on behalf of the staff, we appreciate your hard work and appreciate your dedication to this community. Every day and every night. Yeah, she works in the night. <laughs> Deborah, I'd like to say um, as well, I'm thinking about what we're going to be talking about tonight and knowing this was on the agenda, uh, you already alluded to it. You know, you've been there for all the elected officials that are up here. Um, and in a way, whenever I was running, I mean, you were the person I looked to, uh, uh, looked to for the answers on some of the technical things about how to file them. You know, if I didn't get a, a phone call from you whenever I was running, and, and it was during the days that we had to turn in paperwork, if I didn't get a phone call from you or a letter from you, I thought you were on vacation. I mean, you said something all the time. So I really appreciate it. I appreciate all that you've done for for, uh, for me personally uh, and for our county. Uh, you've made this a, a fair place for, for voters, uh, and um, and I think we've seen increased voter turnout because of your actions. Um, so thank you on behalf of our residents. I'd like to say one other thing in closing. Uh, of course, I'll be up here very close to board of elections. It's something that goes unsaid and probably unnoticed by a lot of people. Just 
this ADP was to co locate on our focal tower. That focal tower is part of our 800 megahertz trunking radio system, can wide radio system. Uh, we own that tower. It sits on Jack Shiloh's land. Um, but we negotiated pretty much a, uh, a fairly, <coughs> fairly aggressive. signed the lease today. I got an email out in here, open up to us, the hard copies that they signed. Uh, your execution tomorrow here, so it has been executed by AT&T. Okay. Thanks. If there's no other questions or comments, I'll make a motion to approve the lease agreement with AT&T. Mr. Hodges, may I motion for a second? I'll second that. Thank you. Uh, any other discussion? All those in favor? 
Selection of the candidate is that what you're is that what you're asking about? Ron? Who is the candidate? The candidate is the deputy director of elections now, Ms. Dana Coulter. And how long has she been with the county? She's been with the county on a full-time basis since. And Deborah may be able to answer that better. Maybe since May one. On a full-time basis, she worked part-time prior to that. She 
do, I sent uh, a list of all 100 counties in North Carolina to Chairman Falls with the a number of what they paid their director of elections presently. And Cleveland County, and I've said that on a number of cases since I've stood here, is on the very low end of that salary scale. Very low end. Based on, based on the county, just like I said, based on the population of the county and also based on the number of voters, which is the way that most counties, from my understanding, selects that according to Don Wright, the Board of Elections attorney. And it's been made abundantly clear to me, and I think Mr. Gillen was copied on those emails, that $50,000 is on a very low end according to the State Board of Elections. That is a very low end salary for a direct elections county or so. I'd be glad. I mean, with that, she she obviously had a, a great experience according to our board. We unanimously selected her. Um, that is certainly uh, within our means and by state statutes, we have the authority and the right to do that. Uh, that has uh, that has nothing to do with the county whatsoever. And we are we highly recommend her. Obviously, we voted all three of us voted unanimously for her. And that's why the officer will make clear is that three appointees made this. Decision. That's correct. That is correct. That is correct. Three appointees of the, of the State Board of Elections and the governor did make that, uh, that uh, recommendation. That's correct. One more. Mr. Chairman, this is personnel matters and sometimes it gets kind of hairy as to what we should talk about. The nonsense that is an individual involved. Uh, I would recommend that you have on your agenda to go to closed session to discuss this personnel matter. And I think it would be better if I was discussing the closed session. Attorneys, Make recommendation during closed session. Um, per DS 143.318.11a of 6, discuss a personal matter. Do I hear a motion? Motion. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Second. Do you have a second? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Thank you. We'll be back momentarily. session and uh, first off uh, uh, commissioner went to closed session no action was taken uh, during closed session uh, now entertain a motion to go back into open session motion to go back into regular session a motion and a second
this is taking on the uh, chairmanship from next year, and Eddie, for you, taking vice chair. Look forward to uh, the guidance and leadership from you guys going on going forward in 2014. Um, we've got, um, this is the season. Just, uh, I'd suggest for folks to visit the different cities around the county. Everybody has Christmas activities going on, Christmas tree lightings, music going on. Uh, Kings Mountain has a ride through the town and listen to music. I think it's 101.5, if anyone correct me if I'm wrong. You can ride through and, and simultaneously listen to music and uh, watch the lights, lights flicker. Um, they also have parades going on about every weekend. Get out and uh, let commissioners throw you some candy in the parades. Uh, we'll, we'll all be there. But uh, again, uh, thanks for being here tonight. And uh, that's it for me. Mr. Hudson. It seemed like it, uh, it moved your social media and Facebook and learning Twitter and things like that. Um, one of the neat things about that is uh, you gain a different insight to our, our county um, by being on those. Um, there's so many different instances I can tell you that, that I've seen. Um, for instance, uh, uh, Commissioner Allen um, has got a uh, program that she started on Facebook. Um, I think it's a, it's a great idea. Thank you. 